My fellow greenies, have you ever wondered where the boundary lies between managing our environment and maintaining its health? Well, today, we're here to delve into these two fascinating realms that, while seemingly similar, are indeed distinct in their objectives and approaches. Environmental management and environmental health are both critical to the well-being of our planet, yet they approach this common goal from different angles. But why is it important to understand this distinction? The answer lies in the intricate relationship we share with our environment. Our environment isn't just a backdrop to our lives, it's a living, breathing entity that supplies us with essential resources, offers us a home, and even shapes our cultures and societies. And as inhabitants and stewards of this planet, we bear a responsibility to both manage and safeguard its health. So what do we mean by environmental management? In essence, it's the process of overseeing and guiding human interactions with the environment to minimize harm and maximize sustainable use. It's about policies, regulations, and practices that help us live in harmony with our surroundings without depleting its resources or causing irreversible damage. On the other hand, environmental health focuses on understanding and mitigating the impacts of environmental factors on human health. It delves into the complex web of connections between our surroundings and our well-being, exploring everything from air and water quality to the effects of climate change on disease patterns. Both fields, while distinct, are closely interlinked. They share a common objective, to create a sustainable future where humans and the environment can thrive together. Understanding the subtle differences and the significant overlaps between them helps us appreciate the multifaceted nature of our interactions with the environment and the many ways we can contribute to its well-being. And with that, we embark on a journey to explore the unique yet interlinked worlds of environmental management and environmental health. Imagine a world where humans and the environment coexist in harmony, where resources are used wisely and sustainably. This is the vision of environmental management. Environmental management is a philosophy, a way of life that demands us to look at our surroundings with a careful, mindful eye. It asks us to realize that the resources we depend on are not infinite, that they need to be used with care, with respect, and above all, sustainably. It calls for the conservation of our natural resources, for the protection and preservation of our rich biodiversity, and for the restoration of damaged environments. Think of a forest. A forest is not just a collection of trees, but a complex, interdependent ecosystem. When we harvest timber, we're not just taking wood, we're disrupting a network of life. Sustainable resource usage in this context would mean harvesting in a way that allows the forest to naturally regenerate, maintaining its health and biodiversity. Conservation is another key aspect of environmental management. It's about safeguarding our natural treasures, our forests, oceans, and wildlife from the harmful impacts of human activity. This can be seen in the creation of protected areas, where human activities are regulated to prevent overexploitation and degradation. Then we have restoration, the process of repairing and rejuvenating damaged ecosystems. This often involves activities like replanting native vegetation, removing invasive species, or improving water quality. An example of this can be seen in the restoration of mangrove forests, which not only helps to improve biodiversity, but also provides a natural barrier against coastal erosion and storm surges. But environmental management is not just about the big picture. It's about our daily actions, too. It's about recycling, reducing our energy consumption, choosing sustainable products. It's about realizing that every action we take has an impact and making choices that reduce that impact. As we can see, environmental management is about using our resources wisely and creating systems that help us coexist with nature. It's about understanding our place in the world and acting in a way that ensures a healthy, sustainable future for all. Now, consider a world where every breath of air you take is pure, every sip of water is clean, and every bite of food is safe. This is the realm of environmental health. Environmental health is a fascinating and crucial field that aims to prevent and control diseases caused by environmental factors. This is not limited to the air we breathe, the water we drink, or the food we eat. It spans a broad spectrum of elements in our surroundings, including physical, chemical, biological, social, and psychosocial factors. Imagine the impact of living near a factory that incessantly spews out toxic smoke. 
the air quality in the vicinity deteriorates, leading to an increased risk of respiratory ailments among the local population. This is a glaring example of an environmental health issue. The goal of environmental health in such a scenario would be to implement measures to improve air quality, such as enforcing stricter emission standards for the factory, or consider the consequence of contaminated drinking water. Illnesses like cholera, dysentery, and typhoid can spread rapidly in communities where clean water is scarce. Here, environmental health initiatives would focus on providing safe and accessible drinking water to prevent these waterborne diseases. In our rapidly urbanizing world, there are many such examples. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Numerous interventions are being undertaken worldwide to tackle these issues. For instance, governments and organizations are investing in renewable energy sources to reduce air pollution. Similarly, Advancements in water purification technologies are making clean water more accessible to people around the globe. These interventions underscore the importance of environmental health in our daily lives. It's not just about protecting the environment for its own sake, but also about safeguarding our health and well-being. After all, we are a part of the environment we live in, and it inevitably affects our health. So when we talk about environmental health, we're talking about an intricate balance, it's about making sure that our surroundings are not just habitable, but conducive to our health. It's about creating an environment where we can thrive without fearing the adverse effects of pollution, contamination, or other environmental hazards. Clearly, environmental health is about ensuring that our environment supports our health and well-being, rather than posing threats. While both fields share a common goal of a healthier planet, their approaches and focuses differ significantly. Environmental management and environmental health, though often used interchangeably, are distinct in their essence. Let's delve a little deeper and unravel these differences. Environmental management primarily focuses on the systematic approach to finding practical ways for saving water, energy and materials, and reducing negative human impact on the environment. It's more about the policies, regulations and conservation efforts that we put into place to protect our environment. It deals with the how of things how to reduce pollution, how to manage waste, how to conserve biodiversity, among other things. On the other hand, environmental health is about assessing the public health risks associated with environmental exposures. It's more about studying and monitoring the effects of environmental pollutants on human health and developing strategies to mitigate these risks. It deals with the what. What are the health impacts of air pollution? What diseases can contaminated water cause? what are the health risks associated with climate change, and so forth. While they seem different, the two fields intersect at multiple points. For instance, a key part of environmental management is managing waste, which if not done properly, can lead to pollution, affecting environmental health. Similarly, environmental health assessments can inform environmental management strategies, providing insights into areas that need more attention. In essence, both fields complement each other in achieving a healthier planet. Environmental management provides the tools and strategies to protect the environment. And environmental health ensures that these strategies are indeed making a positive impact on human health. Together, they form a holistic approach towards environmental conservation, each tackling different aspects of the same issue. The strategies and policies of environmental management create a healthy environment and the assessments and studies of environmental health ensure that this environment, in turn, fosters healthier communities. So, while environmental management and environmental health may seem distinct, they are two sides of the same coin, each playing a crucial role in our planet's well-being. In understanding the differences and similarities between environmental management and environmental health, we see a bigger picture. It's like gazing at a puzzle, where each piece has its own uniqueness, yet they all fit together to create a complete image. The same applies to these two fields. Each has its own focus, but they are intertwined in the grand scheme of preserving our planet. Reflecting on the key points we've discussed, environmental management is primarily concerned with conserving and improving our natural resources. It's about making sure we use these resources wisely and sustainably, minimizing damage and ensuring their longevity for future generations. It's the strategies, policies, and actions we take to maintain the balance of our environment. On the other hand, environmental health looks at how our surroundings influence our well-being. 
It's about recognizing potential hazards in our environment and finding ways to mitigate them, ensuring that our surroundings support, rather than hinder, our health. It's about reducing risks and promoting healthier living conditions for all, regardless of where we live. While they may seem distinct, they are two sides of the same coin. They both aim to safeguard our planet and us, its inhabitants. Environmental management ensures we have a world to live in, and environmental health ensures that world is safe for us to live in. So as we look at these two fields, we see that they are not just academic disciplines or professional sectors. They are a reflection of our commitment to our planet and ourselves. They highlight our responsibility to not only manage our resources, but also to ensure our environment is conducive to our health and well-being. And so, as we strive for a healthier planet, remember that it is not just about managing our environment, but also ensuring that it supports our health and well-being. Because in the end, our environment is not just the world around us, it's our home. And like any home, it needs to be taken care of, both for our sake and for the sake of those who will call it home after us.